Hey, what's going on? It's going to be a little different today in this video because one, I'm sure you can hear it, the audio is, is less than ideal. And the only reason I'm voicing over right now is because my, my microphone was giving a lot of issues. Most of my clips had no audio or bad audio. I was going to do this voiceover with the microphone and now the microphone is not working at all. I got to get a new one, but I don't know what's not working. I don't know if it's the adapter one of my two adapters i got two adapters or it's a microphone itself but we just gotta see so yeah today oh man today i'm trying to get some something big kingfish tarpon not a shark don't want a shark all right all right now i'm just enjoying the views of the dolphins gonna get into the action a little bit later on All right, so I'm catching my This here is, I don't know what it is. I was looking at it, I was like, is this a spot? It's a croaker. Then of the two went to this guy here. I was like, yeah, what is this? And I think it's just something, something along the lines of a sand perch. They caught this huge shark. I was trying to detangle this right here. Um, I wasn't really paying the shark any attention because I'm tired of them, honestly. Got something else right here. Got him, got him. I just held it, waiting for the bite, and I got him. Let's see what it is. Wait, is that another weird, weird looking fish? Same kind? Yeah. Don't know what that is. Somebody could comment but down below and let me know what that is. I think it's a sand perch, but I'm not sure. Alright, I'm bringing up another one here. What is now? Alright, that's a spot. That's good bait. <laughs> so you know where it's going. Alright. Straight on the kingfish line. One, two, three hooks. Now, I wasn't sure where to hook this guy. There, you know, he came over and said I hook him in the nose and um, in the side and leave the last hook hanging because it's a way that they do it. Another guy said, no, don't hook him in the nose. Hook him right at the top of the head. But he's like, nah, it's okay. You can put him in the nose. Makes him live longer. It's like, all right, cool. See, I, I have zero experience. So I'm just giving them this opportunity to help me out. See the guy is still saying put it in the top of the head. Well, he's like, ah, it's gonna be alright. So you put it right in the side. See right there. I'm trying to get it in, but it's not. Oh, there we go, right in there. I need to just left that, leave that last one dangling. Otherwise, he'll swim funny if I hook him like that. So he showed me how he's gonna swim good, and it's like, alright, cool, cool. So I put him down on the deck a little bit, just to clip on my clip on my sliding rig on my mud line. And I'm gonna go in a detailed explanation of the rigs that we use here. Um, I'm still new to it, but when I when I get a chance or a better chance and understand it more, I'll give you all a good rundown of it. All right, so don't worry. Water is crystal clear today. I mean, you can't see it down to the bottom because it's deep, but it's, it was really clear. So I was about to take up the bait. And, um, yeah, here I realized he came off. Like, he just flopped off. All of the hooks came out. I'm like, all right, cool. Now, let me try it at the top of the head, like the other guy said. He was like, yeah, I'll help you out. Got the scale off. All right, put it through the top of the head. Go and get one. Oh, and he put it back in the body. Now at this point, I'm I'm, I'm scared that this guy's gonna just die out here because he's been out for a while.
and he did hook that third one right up there. Yo, this speed has been off for so long. I'm like, yo, let's get him out. Let's get him out. So I'm letting him down on the on my mud line. And I call it a mud line because it has a um a big it's like a huge Sputnik sinker on it. And it just gets stuck in the sand or some people call it the mud, so they just call it the mud rod. So right here, I'm just playing with it a little bit. I'm trying to get the mud line to um, sit a little bit higher. And I'm, at the same time, I'm taking line out of my fighting rod just so you can slide down the line a little bit further, going a little bit deeper water. You can't see him here, but he's out there. But I'm trying to let him stay on top of the water. So I'm shaking it so the sliding rig can just slide down each time I shake it. All right, so here I was trying to do some kind of an intro. Oh uh, yeah, but yeah, that's crazy, it didn't work. I was saying something about fishing and uh, catching fish and um, yeah, kingfish, Spanish mackerel, something like that. Someone was asking me to move my stuff because he was about to throw his mud rod and you know, if he hooks it, everything's going overboard. Saying some more stuff about catching fish, I'm pretty sure, I think. Yeah. Blah, 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 Enough of this guy now. It's a bluefish there, getting hit. Spinner. Spinner shark? No. Don't tell me, man. Somebody said tarpon, somebody said spinner shark. No, 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 it's... Yeah. It's... Oh, popped him off. This guy. All right, I just had this guy catch a nice. Spanish mackerel and I see them busting up so I try this this little cast master. See if I get something. The bait's right here. Got a little gachi plug I think. Yo, did you see that? Yeah. What? You, you see this, right? Whoa, Wanda swiped at it. They cut it, it cut it off. Oh no, it's there. Ooh, I thought he cut it off. I think he swiped at it. Not even sure. All right, let me get a sneaky on. All right. Kinda of irritated only having to use three rods. Got subscribe. I gotta take this off and put the sadiki on. Ah. ah. Getting too many butterfish. I heard the kings are hitting the butterfish, so that's why I'm keeping them. The Spanish mackerel are going crazy, I just want a live bait. And I can't put on a dead bait in the meantime because I can't use more than three rods. Isn't that crazy? Spanish? Gosh. Yeah. And yo, the butterfish are going crazy, it's too crazy. Leave me alone, man. I'm not interested right now.
Oh shoot! I want to sit this straight off. Oh, bro, please don't do it. I gotta put this right here. <laughs> I just lost one yesterday in the water. Yeah. Yesterday, twenty. That's twenty dollars. I got a tiny one. You know the hard thing now, I got one of those. The hard thing is it was so hard to get one. And then, and if I lose this one and don't catch a fish, I have to take this off and put this abiki back on and try man. So I got a long shank long shank hook right here. I'll put it right just hook it right here. Don't want that king the mackerel hit it and Let's see, let's see where we are. Put it right here. Is that for a little bit? <laughs> there goes my spot. Just to... <sighs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Got me a nice bait. Got me a nice bit. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> Got me a nice bit. I want to eat it, but I'm going to use it for a bit. Got, got me a nice one. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use it. It got him in his gills. I wonder if he'll live. Me? Yeah, you got blown up on. I got blown up on? Dang, I shouldn't take it up then. I'll put it in my bucket. Hold on. No. Put it up, put it up. Yeah, put it up. Where's the shark? Is it still with it or no? Like, where is it? I just, I just barely saw his body. Yeah, I, I seen it too. It's like this way. Really Get it. Alright, here we go. What's happening? Dang, he's going crazy. Ah, I'm hooked. He will not chill out. You see, now this one's big enough for, to put all three hooks in, and he swims just fine. Big blue fish. Yeah, you're gonna get messed up you by should. a kingfish, hopefully. You should. I'm just worried about you getting spooled on that thing. Ah, uh, me too, to be honest. Yo, look at this bluefish, dude. It's going, it's going crazy. Right dude, look at him. Oh my god, would you look at this baby cobia? Yeah, then that, yeah, that loose. What pound is that? 20. 20? Oh, you should be okay. That's yeah. a big reel. How much can I hold? This, for 20 pounds, it's a. Mono 340. Oh, he's chilling. <laughs> he, hey, he is 340 yards on that. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's not gonna get spooled. Shut up. Unless he looks like a world record or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I would really suck. I've never caught a king in my life. I've been hooked up on one, so. I haven't either, so. He won't get spooled. Okay. Promise. Fair warning I am a novice. Just a reminder to all the king fishermen that we know there's a tournament going on, obviously, but um, other people are still allowed to fish down here. So, just a reminder to share the space with everybody, please. And if other people want to fish down here, they still can. We don't want anybody to be in anybody's way, but just everyone share. It'd be nice. Oh, no. That's a big butterfish. I'll, I'll keep him for a bit. Yeah, I really thought I had something nice. Oh, it's a look down. I'll eat him. Ah.
You want it? Why is it so close? Oh, they did? Yeah. All right, I'm back. No audio. Yo, here, the, the Spanish record were going crazy and I finally got one. Finally got my first Spanish record. They were real slimy, real wiggly. I was scared to get that treble in me and then he got a full mother teeth. I was just handling with care. But my first, my first Spanish record. And he was a keeper too. Going on one more time, trying to get another one. And I got one right in the fall, right in the fall. This lure is putting in work. I don't remember what it's called. Some crystal minnow thingy, I don't remember. If you wanna know, just comment down below and I'll, I'll link it. Nice, it's a nice blue runner. And yo, a lot of people were asking me for it, but I went over and I gave it to my good friend over here. Yeah, he was a first, one of the first guys, a matter of fact, the first guy to really help me out on the pier. And let me know, you know, the the rules amongst the fishermen, separate and apart from the pier rules. Yeah, so I gave him that one. This is actually, it's the first Kobe I've ever seen in my life. It looks like a remora, but it's not a remora, but that's just a baby Kobe. I had to throw him back. So here, there's a huge hammerhead shark that looks like about 8, 10 feet. Oh no, it's a huge hammerhead shark. He's on top. Oh, so he's looking no. at all the baits here. Every single one. He's like, yo, which one do I want? Which one do I want? And in my mind, I'm like, I have the biggest bait on. You know, there's a blue runner there, but my blue fish is much bigger <laughs> than the blue runner. I don't want to fight this crap. Somebody else Then he to... went down. So I was like, all right, he's going to leave. He came back up. He went down again. He turned towards Odyssey, but he turned back again. I was like, what is this guy doing? All of a sudden, right on my bed. I was like, no, man. No, I don't want to fight this. It would be fun, but it would be like, it would like, it would like reward. Because I can't eat that thing. And I just have to pop off my last rig. He's still trying to get it, but I got my bluefish up. He, he messed it up. He messed up my whole rig. Nothing was working how it's supposed to. This bluefish, he just died right there. He was he was in shock. He didn't get bit, but he was in shock. And he just gave up the ghost. And right, I'm just trying to fix my rig. Got it fixed, fishing again. Trying to get some bait again. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? It's a little float rig that I that I saw somebody do. And that's what I did. Oh, there we go. Another Spanish record. This one was, I don't think that was a keeper. They have to be 12. I think that might have been 12. I'm not sure. But here, shoot. I thought I had something nice. Because it was running. It was running. Look at it running. Zzz, yo. If you could, I wish you could hear it. So I turned down on him. And as soon as I set the hook, I realized it was just a shark. They could, uh, like, I caught so many, I know what they feel like now. They're just dead weight, they hardly move their head. You know, they, they take big runs when they feel like it. They're kind of sporadic. They don't go left or right, really, they just come straight in. Psh, man. Big old shark. I lost my rig to this guy because he swallowed it. That's why he's bleeding so much. I threw him back. And he's somehow strong. So I guess he's all right. Now here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. See it and now, yo, this guy with that with that big spook that he had on, he said a kingfish was following the spook when he was bringing it in, but he just beelined for this guy's bait and his bait got hit. And we knew this was a king because of how the run sounded. It sounded like the run earlier that the other guy had and the look down. It was just constant pulling, constant pulling out drag, no stopping, just going. So. Yeah, he's fighting him, sped it up a little bit because a decently long fight, like 10-15 minutes. 
So we're just going back and forth, and we gotta, sh you know, coordinate over or under. Yo, is his is the is his line over or is it under? So depending on what it is, he goes around or he goes above the rods. We all coordinate. Look at this. He's going back to the right again. So he's going left, right, left, right. So everybody's pulling up their bait and he's going over under the mud rods because the mud rods don't come up. It's just the bait that we, on our fighting rods, we just pull up. So he's gone back to the left again. I'm looking, it's low light. I apologize for that because I was there from six in the morning to nine in the night. That's over 12 hours. So I was going, I all I caught was a shark. Right, so now he's coming in a little bit closer and he looks he doesn't look all that green till somebody sent down a gap for him but over here there were like three four rods over there that nobody decided to pick up but not everybody knows how it is when you're finding a big fish they didn't pick it up so he got caught in their their lines and their rods and shh, that was it i'm glad this part had no audio because i had to cut out a lot of curse words because everybody on everybody on the pier was pissed off and they were cursing non-stop man i feel it for this guy <sighs> but that's it i did an outro but it, no audio again and it was pitch black so this is my outro here yeah. thank you all for watching if you made it to the end of this video this is not as good as a, of a video as i'm used to putting up so if you stuck around just leave the heart emoji in, in the comments. Let me know who really stuck around. And I appreciate you. Take care.